Hello again, Redwings27 here. Today I will show you how to start up the beautiful Russian helicopter, the Mi-24P. Before we continue, unless you know how to read Russian, go ahead and change the cockpit language to English in the special settings for this module. Without further ado, let's hop into the cockpit and start flipping switches. I understand this cockpit looks really intimidating. No worries, I will show you how to do everything step by step and hopefully this helps you. First things first. We need to find the electrical panel and turn on the left and right batteries. Next, turn on the battery network. Now turn on the two inverters. Now pull these levers to turn on the circuit breakers. As you can hear it triggers this audible warning. Just press this buttons a few times to shut her off. Alright, so now turn on all these switches for the fuel pumps. And turn on these two for the fire extinguisher. Great. Now with the fuel ready, we can now turn on the APU. Press and hold the APU start switch for 3 seconds. In order to be able to start up the engines make sure you release the rudder brake. This lever looking thing. Fantastic. Now we can start up the engines. Select the engine you want to start first, then press the engine start switch. As soon as you do, turn off the fuel cutoff. Now you just have to wait and monitor the engine. I will close the door now, then make sure you seal the doors. This is the knob for the pressure. Rotate it counterclockwise until you see the cabin. Pressure light illuminate. There you go. Engine 1 is stabilized. We can start up number 2 now. Flip the engine start switch to the other one and repeat the same process.
Unhide your seat by pressing backspace. Once both engines are stable, increase the throttle to get more RPMs. This will allow us to start up other systems in the helicopter. Make sure the needle is in between the two yellow lines, and then you can continue. Go back to the electrical panel. Turn on the left and right generators. Transformers up to main. Left and right rectifiers on. Battery network off. Inverters off. Turn off the APU. Turn on all these switches for interior lights, navigation, radios and all that good stuff. And some more exterior lights here. Turn on the RQ2 switch. Press and hold the cinch switch for 5 seconds. Now the ARC-15 nav set to compass. Dust protection cover. Up. Autopilot buttons, on. SPU power, on. Page the two gyros with these red buttons. Turn on the HUD symbology. Then turn on the air conditioning. Also some more interior lights if needed. That seems to be all. I will do the final checks to make sure I didn't skip anything. Alright so everything looks good. Now I can start taxing. I really hope you like this video and most importantly that is helpful towards learning how to start up this old beast.